Ad. First there was nothingness, then some unknown process led to a great big explosion. The universe grew from a subatomic stew of quarks, gluons, plasmas, and bosons. Then gas and dust settled on hot cores of metal, and one of these cores was called Earth. It was covered with goop, a primordial soup from which all of Earth's life was then birthed. At first single cell, some swam or grew shells, still others evolved to hunt prey. Some hid in the sand, some crowd onto land. So life, well, life found a way. Mosses and gymnosperms, seven foot long earthworms, huge dragonflies ruled the sky. Amphibians, cephalopods, peddlers, both by and quad reptiles started to fly. We had lizards, both big and small, mammals not big at all, sharks with the size of a house. Then one little meteor killed other dinosaurs, so we evolved from a mouse. 8,000 BC, creation theory would dictate the song should start here. Though most of our herd agree it's absurd, some teach it in place of Shakespeare. Revolution, there are two revolutions. Agriculture took us to towns. Humans learned to grow wheat, got all fat left to eat. Stop walking and just settle down. Industrial next, its major effect to take us from towns to the city. We mined coals and built trains, machine plowed our grains, and we treated the workers real shit. We recorded some tunes, put a man on the moon, fought more wars than we care to recount. Sent the Phoenix to Mars, built electric cars, and polluted a shocking amount. Skipping to now, we survived. Not sure how, it's getting real hard to keep track. <gasps> There's Wikipedia, smartphones, tablets, unmanned drones, pick your own genomes, ride sharing sheep clones, earthquakes and cyclones, valleys of silicone, gluten free vegan scones, temperature milestones, keystones and sword thrones, high interest payday loans, cyclists, testosterone, everything must go. But at least now, us waters are back.